Dan, eat your Snickers. Why? Because you turn into a right diva when you're hungry. Better? Better. You're not you when you're thirsty. Hello, welcome to Food View UK. My name is Stuart and this is Top of the Hops, where I drink beer and tell you what I think about it. This is all new Top of the Hops, the all new pandering to the YouTube algorithms, long format, extended Top of the Hops. So for this first in the new, new wave of Top of the Hops videos, I've got a fantastic looking beer for you. It's called You're Not You When You're Thirsty and it's an Imperial Peanut Butter Fudge Stout 9% ABV, a nice strong Imperial Stout to get us started. Please give this video a like, it takes you two seconds and we really, really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Now, as you can tell by the tin, this is uh, branded as a, as a Snickers beer. So I'm expecting liquid, liquid Snickers. And this beer is from S43 Brewery, who may very well be a new brewery to a lot of the people that are watching this. So before we taste this beer, let's have a little look at who S43 are and where they came from. Over to you, Stuart. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Not my words, Michael. The words of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Browning was a native of Coxall, a village five miles south of Durham and a stone's throw from Esh Winning, where my mum grew up. 2012, Sonnet 43 Brewery was born in the village, the brewery taking its name from Elizabeth's famous poem. The founder Mark Hurd had a passion for beer and the brewery began brewing traditional lower ABV cask beers. The beers were well received, but with the rapid changes in the beer industry, found themselves falling behind. The rising market for more modern flavour forward craft beer styles didn't escape Sonic 43 and Mark Hurd's attention. Mark sought out a brewer who was well versed in the less traditional side of brewing. And this is where Alex Rattray becomes part of the story. Alex had begun his brewing journey like so many of us by making homebrew, selling bottles of beer to friends and co-workers and getting rave reviews before taking the step into hospitality opening the Granary Bar and Restaurant in San Antonio, Texas and brewing beer on site. In 2016, Alex sold his share in the Granary and moved to Freetail Brewing Company, perfecting his craft, brewing everything from stouts, sours, hazy IPAs to barrel-aged beers. Since Alex joined the brewing team, he's been instrumental in developing the craft side of the business, increasing production to 4,000 litres per month, which is still a fraction of the brewery's cask output though. The brewery's most successful beer is Raven, a chocolate bourbon milk stout on cask, but recent offerings such as Dank Money, a hazy IPA, have helped to garner wider attention, and I certainly enjoyed it. The global pandemic really at the brewery hard, they had to dump an awful lot of beer, but it's been a blessing and a curse. They've been completely unable to brew any cask beer, which is still the core of their business, but they've been able to focus on brewing and canning beer. That canned beer has been selling out like crazy, super fast selling out and selling out nationwide which has really helped to build the profile of the brewery on a, on a wider scale outside Durham. The brewery is in a tiny space and have a small, completely manual brew kit which makes brewing very labour intensive. They've been at maximum production on craft beer for months now and the demand for S43 beers is continually growing. Whereas most breweries focus on either traditional cask ales or modern craft styles, S43 are trying to get the balance of both. They currently brew a lot more cask beer than craft, but they're hoping to scale up the craft production and even open up a tap room. That sounds like a fantastic idea and I'll certainly be going in for a few thirds. Sadly, the brewery's founder, Mark Hurd, passed away from cancer in 2019 and has not seen the incredible strides that the brewery has taken that he was the architect of. Whether it's hop forward IPAs, adjunct imperial stouts or traditional cask beers, S43 have got something for everyone. Back to you Stuart. So I'm expecting big things from this beer. Other beers I've had from the brewery have been very, very good recently and this looks like it'd be right on my street. For any fans of Food View UK and particularly the Frock and Rout podcast, you'll know that I'm a big fan of a Snickers and I'm also a big fan of an imperial stout. So this is like Stuart in a can. That a brewery should make that. That'd sell. That'd sell tons, wouldn't it? It's a brilliant can design. It looks just like a Snickers, right? I mean, I imagine. I mean, surely is that not infringing on some kind of copyright? I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to grasp up on anything because I think it looks brilliant. But I'm not a copyright lawyer. So let's open the beer and have a little look and a smell and a taste. 
it smells there's definitely a smell of it smells brilliant oh such an insight there Stuart there's definitely chocolate and you can definitely got a big multi dark stouty smell I'm going to pour it into I haven't got an S43 glass so I've gone for the next best thing the, the Durham Brewery welcome to this welcome to the Dominic Cummins top of the hop special so you can see there that the beer is pouring absolutely black with a nice tan head I'm, I feel like I'm channeling uh, Simon from Real L Craft Beer there Real L Craft Beer there I'm stealing, stealing sorry Simon I'm stealing you stealing your gimmick the head is not like a, a thick head that you get on a pint of Guinness it's a rocky a rocky bubbly head all the bubbles are different sizes which is the sign of a good beer and the beer is black there is no light getting through that beer now it's in the glass i'm definitely getting a kind of caramel smell roasted malts that you get in a stout because that's what makes it a stout right i'm just gonna drink it you're not you when you're thirsty that's 43 brewery in the wrong glass never mind Mm. Wow. Right, a big initial roasted malt, dark coffee, stout flavour. It's really robust, really roasty, really dark. And there's a sweetness to it, not a cloying sweetness. Some of these adjunct stouts, stouts that have got things added into them, we call them a pastry stout. Some of these can be really quite cloyingly sweet. This isn't at all. It's roasty. I'm definitely getting a chocolatiness. I'm not sure whether I'm getting a peanut peanut flavour. There's a lot of flavour. This, this is a very flavourful beer. There's a lot of flavours in there. So maybe I'm just losing the peanut slightly. Right, so I said before, Imperial Peanut Butter Fudge, strap, fudge Stout, looking at the can, looking at everything, what I'm expecting is, is Snickers in a, in a can. Do I actually want that in a beer? No, if I, I don't drink a beer for it to taste like a chocolate bar, but I do like a pastry stout, I do like a stout that's got some sweetness to it, and I like all of those flavours, the peanut, the caramel, the chocolate. So is this Snickers in a can? For me, no, it's not. Is it a good beer? Yes, it is a good beer. It is a good beer. For me, I'd like more peanut coming through. I'm getting a kind of chocolatey caramel flavour, but I'm not getting much of the the peanut. And the and the, the peanut fudge that they're saying makes me think that it should have a more of a creaminess to is to it whereas what i'm getting is a very dark roasty stout with a, a bit of a sweetness on it overall though it's a very very nice beer but it's not as i've seen it described elsewhere snickers in a can i will very much enjoy drinking the rest of this though it's a good beer for nine percent as well that's dangerous like you don't it doesn't feel like you're drinking a nine percent beer but already i'm feeling like i'm getting a little little bit of a beer buzz going on which is off you know three or four mouthfuls of the beer good beer though good beer and like i said this brewery making some excellent beers at the moment check them out i suppose i better give it star rating i'm going to give this beer a very high four stars Thank you for watching my review of You're Not You When You're Thirsty. I hope you enjoyed the new longer format, informative Top of the Hops. If you enjoy this new format, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye. What you just said then, but that was cool.